you are even remotely curious about Ridgefield, Washington, possibly one of the best small rural towns in the Pacific Northwest, stick around. We're going to take a look at the quiet rural lifestyle of this quaint little community that's still relatively close to major metro benefits coming up next. Good day folks, I hope you're doing well. If you're new to this channel, you can expect to see information on buying and selling homes, read your reviews on neighborhoods and things to do and see in the area as I host our regional journey. My name is Scott Spiker and I'm a home specialist and outdoor enthusiast. If you are looking to relocate here, let me be your boots on the ground making that process exciting, efficient and stress free. If you have a property to sell and you're wanting top dollar, I have an unmatched skill set to make that happen in record time. Either way, let me assist you in finding that next best place to live. In this episode, we will do a discovery journey to Ridgefield, Washington and the surrounding area. Set in the rolling pastoral part of northern Clark County, the modest city of Ridgefield is close enough to Vancouver to almost be considered a suburb. Barely above sea level, it's 20 minutes north of Portland and about 2.5 hours south of Seattle. Rurally encompassing a large geographic area, it extends from the Columbia River to the west, Interstate 5 to the east, northerly to the Lewis River, and south to the border of Vancouver. Now a rapidly growing count of around 9,000, the population has doubled since 2010. The early Lewis Clark expeditions first discovered the original settlers to the region, the Chinook Native Americans. This indigenous civilization built amazing plank houses made of local cedar with removable transportable roofs. Around 14 of these were located in the nearby Chinook settlement of Cathapogle. A full-size plank house was recently rebuilt based on findings from this archaeological town site and can be seen at the Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge. Richfield was incorporated in 1909 with electricity reaching the outpost in early 1916. Originally named Union Ridge, early white settlers initiated a vibrant agricultural and forestry based economy. State Route 501, also known as Pioneer Street, is a prime arterial connecting downtown and the I-5 freeway. Main Avenue and Hillhurst Road are major north-south byways reflecting over a century of occupancy with a mix of old historic homes interspersed with modern subdivisions. Ridgefield works hard to maintain and improve the quality of mature residences while encouraging the development of new neighborhoods to have a distinct character with pedestrian-friendly amenities. In terms of today's demographics, that town skews slightly younger with over 63% of the population under 45 and close to 30% under the age of 18. Along the lower reaches of the Columbia River floodplain is a popular visitor spot for locals and out-of-towners alike. The Ridgefield National Wildlife Refuge, RNWR, is a 5,300-acre site containing a lush mixture of wetlands, grasslands, repairing corridors, and forests. Habitats here provide the, provide the ideal environment for winged species including neotropical songbirds, wintering waterfowl, and other local native birds. The refuge consists of five sections with unique wildlife in each. The area also has several nice walking trails including the Oaks to Wetland Trail being North Main Street, the McCarty Trail at the Port of Ridgefield, off the Northwest Auto Tour Route, which is also worth checking out, is a Kiowa Trail with an easy access boardwalk and gravel pathway. There are two refuge entrances, one on North Main and one on South Hillhurst. Regular fun events in Ridgefield include the Farmer's Market running from May to October in Overlook Park. On Saturdays between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m., you'll find a great selection of products to choose from, including local produce, plant starts, baked goods, flowers, jewelry, clothing, and much more. The first Saturday of each month hosts popular downtown events ranging from movie marathons to spring festivals to bluegrass concerts. There's a multicultural day uh, celebrating com diverse communities and, a seasonal, and seasonal events such as the Halloween scavenger hunt and the big paddle of mass kayaking and canoeing get together. Ridgefield has a community garden located on South Fifth Avenue at the end of Sergeant Street near the downtown. <clears throat> Created to improve community health by providing citizens the opportunity to raise organic veggies or ornamental flowers to help build relationships and a sense of community. Ridgefield is constantly updating its infrastructure with new roundabouts planned for an east and west of the freeway and work on a new overpass from the downtown area into the port district 
allowing safe and easy access to the water from 10 acres of Riverside Parkland and a walking path. For those who like wet stuff, Ridgefield has two major access points to the Lower Columbia River Water Trail. A boat launch is located at the west end of Mill Street with a day use dock and grassy picnic area and a kayak launch at the West Division at West Division Street offers non-motorized boaters a great place to float and take in regional views with seasonal rentals close by. The Lewis River to Vancouver Lake segment of this water path can be done in a hardy day trip, starting at the kayak launch and paddling eight miles up river to Vancouver Lake and beyond. When you're looking to refuel and relax, there are several options, including regional wineries and local tap off houses with grills in town or close by. Here are some of the vino friendly choices. Bethany Vineyard has 25 estate acres, including a floating patio. The Confluence Winery gets its name from the meeting point of two regional rivers, while Gaucher Cellars was built from a converted firehouse. Three Brothers Winery is another estate property, while Windy Hills was, of all things, once a tree farm. Beer options include Bridgefield Craft Brewing, the first state-of-the-art can barrel production facility in the area, the Sportsman's Public House is local's favorite, Zebrun's Starliner is a grocery store in Delhi that's been a Ridgefield stronghold for five decades, and Taft's Beer Reserve has 48 handles of choices for your enjoyment. Situated at the base of this beautiful valley and surrounded by Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, Mount Hood is the Tri-Mountain Golf Course and offers a picturesque vista and unmatched natural splendor. Tri-Mountain is a public course in Ridgefield that's well maintained and known for being one of the better values in the region. Golfers can enjoy incredible territorial views during course play or afterward from the on-site restaurant. Historically, Clark County Fair Grounds and the Event Center was held at several locations over the decades until finally settling at the present Ridgefield site in 1955. Each summer, folks from the region descend on the area for the annual fair set to reopen post-COVID August 5th through the 14th of 2022. Yay! The amphitheater typically also hosts concerts throughout the year. Numerous parks and trails in the region provide a variety of outdoor opportunities. Davis Park in the heart of downtown hosts outdoor movies events in the summer and has picnic tables and children's play area. 40 Acre Abrams Park has facilities for softball, soccer, and disc golf. Optimal picnicking and awesome views can be had at Eagle Park near the edge of the wildlife refuge. Furry four-legged freedom can be found at the Ridgefield Dog Park on Hillhurst Road where your favorite beast can get it some socializing in. There's a community and skate park with picnic tables and a gazebo where kids with wheels can find some challenging terrain right in the heart of downtown Ridgefield. The McCarty Lake Trail offers visitors a path to Lake River Overlook and the Cathapodal Plank House. Ridgefield also has a 53 acre outdoor recreation complex hosting six multi-purpose sports fields, playgrounds, and a walking trail. If you're looking for regional recreation, Long Beach and the Pacific Coast is two hours to the northwest. Topless Mount St. Helens is less than an hour to the east. And Paradise Visitor Center at Mount Rainier National Park is a 2.5 hour drive away with Mount Hood being reached in about 90 minutes on a good day. A backroads adventure to Mount Adams can be done in three hours or more conveniently by freeway in just under two. The general area of Ridgefield has a temperate climate with winter lows averaging around 42 degrees Fahrenheit and summer highs around 79 degrees. It rains a bit more than usual, 47 inches a year compared to the national average of 36. This equates to 145 days of sunshine a year while the rest of the country sees about 205 days. The most pleasant months of the year are July, August, and September. December is the coldest with nighttime temperatures just over freezing. There are almost nine days a year when the high temperature exceeds 90 degrees, making it one of the hottest places in Washington. The wettest season is spring, while the driest is the fall. Here are a couple more videos you might find useful. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe icon or jump on the bell to be notified of new stuff. Until then, stay healthy and I will see you next time.